hello everyone welcome to my channel if you have not already subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel today's topic is about looping from 1 to 25 by skipping five numbers for every five numbers now let us try to understand this by an example shown below here i have numbers from 1 to 25 but if you can see here after every five numbers I am skipping five numbers and then again I am starting and then after five more numbers I am skipping another five numbers. To solve this problem we need to understand two concepts. The first one is do loop and second one is mod function. First let us look into how we can output 25 numbers with do loop. We can do simply this with the help of iterative do loop. Iterative do loop here has following structure. It starts with do and then we have an index variable here and then equal to 1 to 25. That is 1 is our starting point and 25 is where we stop our loop and we have an output statement. An explicit output statement helps us to output each value. And then we finally have an end which helps to exit the loop, do loop. And I just wanted to tell one important thing that is here I have do val equal to 1 to 25. And in general a do loop has a structure of start to stop by increment. And here if you see we only have start to stop but we don't have an increment. Whenever we don't mention an increment, it means we are incrementing by 1. Let us see how this do loop works here. The loop starts from 1 and then it outputs that value and then it goes back to the loop again and increments by 1 and it outputs 2 and then increments 1 more and then outputs 3 till 25 it outputs each value and then finally increments one more to get to 26 and then now the value has reached 26 and it is greater than the stop so it will not loop anymore it exits with the help of end statement now let us quickly look into mod function mod function gives the remainder from division of first argument with second argument. Now let us try to understand this through an example here. Here we are using mod function and we are capturing these values into variables. In the first case we are doing mod 5 comma 5 that is we are dividing 5 by 5 and then in this case the remainder is 0 and you can see that is what is captured in here. Whereas in the case of second scenario, we are doing 10 comma 5, that is we are dividing 10 by 5. In this case also the remainder is 0. Whereas here we are dividing 6 by 5 and as this is not exactly divisible, gives the remainder of 1. Whereas in the next case, we are dividing 7 by 5 this is also not exactly divisible by 5 and we get the remainder 2. By using this mod function along with the do loop, we can skip 5 numbers for every 5 numbers starting from 1. And now how we are going to do that, we will look into that in the next slide. Here I have the following code. In this code, I have do val equal to 1 to 25 output and I have added an if statement wherein I have said if mod comma val comma 5 equal to 0 then val plus 5 and end. Now let us see how this whole thing works to skip 5 numbers for every 5 numbers. So when val equal to 1 it outputs and then it will go and check in this if statement as 1 is not 
exactly divisible by 5 to give 0 remainder, it will again go into the loop increments by 1 and then it outputs 2, 2 is also not exactly divisible and then 3 and 4 and then when it comes to 5 it outputs and it comes to the if condition here and in the if condition it gets exactly divisible by 5 and then it adds 5 to the val. Now the value of val is 5 plus 5 10 and as you know whenever we are going to do loop again this increments by 1. So it becomes 11 here and it outputs and then as 11 is not exactly divisible by 5 to give the remainder 0 it again goes to loop and then 12 output 13 output 14 output as nothing happens here because none of them from 11 to 14 match the condition given here 15 outputs and then it looks into if condition here as 15 is exactly divisible by 5 to give remainder 0 it adds 5 more that is it becomes 20 and then once it becomes 20 and then it tries to loop again and increments by 1 and then it loops 21 outputs and then 22 outputs and as the if condition is not satisfied for 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 exactly satisfy this condition and then 5 is added to 25 and it becomes 30 and this tries to loop again. Following things happen when it tries to loop again. First it is incremented by 1 and it gets to 31 and it checks the value here as the stop value is much lesser or 31 is much greater than 25 it no longer loops in here and exits with the help of end statement and here we can see our results ending from 1 to 25 and skipping 5 for every 5. Here the main trick is we are using the mod function that is whenever it is divisible by 5 we are adding 5 and then while incrementing it adds one more so in this way we are skipping five numbers for every five numbers in a do loop that's all for this topic if you have liked this topic please give it a thumbs up share and subscribe thank you